La Croisette, uh, Cannes Lions 2024. Thank you very much um, for this year. And I'm going to uh, share with you the five topics we've seen this year. So here at Cannes Lions, um, unlike what we expected, that all everything was going to go around AI, we've seen a very human part of the festival. Our industry is taking back humanity, is taking back how we feel emotions, and not in a purpose-driven way, because I think, um, uh, it's not me, it's many people saying it, purpose has come to speak. It's about compromise and about what brands are doing. So I think it's important. And this links also with the second point, which is humor. Everybody was talking about humor. And it's clear that we've been taking life to serious um, for obvious reasons with what we've been living in the past. But now it's time to really engage with people. People want to have fun, want to really have this humor part of creativity. And we're able to do it very well. And we've seen exceptional cases of working on that sense of humor and really touching emotions to people. Um, this links to the third point, and the third point I would like to come to it is about entertainment. Entertainment is obviously one of the biggest tools we have, and when I talk about entertainment, it's about social, it's about influential. We've seen it's the first time that Can Lions host uh, brand creators, and that has been on the rooftop, and it's been really interesting to see how this community is engaging with advertising, not only because of the social platforms, but also because of the gaming. And gaming, it's been treated in a very interesting way because it's true that we have the power on our hands to do it properly. Gaming has a, a, a dark part, and we really have to be responsible on how we work on it. But gaming is growing, many brands are embracing it, and we've seen extraordinary cases in many of the categories in this area. And then, of course, artificial intelligence has been a topic, has been a topic, topic around the palace, but very much seen as an augmented power that has been given to us and in the way that we have to embrace it. Obviously, in the first stage, we are in, still in the early days, and the early days has been seen as efficiency, but this is going to give us a superpower to do things faster, quicker, better, and cheaper. But also um, to ignite and really to do things in a different way and to allow us to do this um, anticipation, which is really what we're looking for, and how to work in brands, how to do tests in real time, how to work in search in another way, because search is going to change immensely, and how to work in media also in another way. We've seen a double of uh, Lesbinet also and then I would like to point out for me the best conference in the in the week and it's been Elon Musk. Um, I think uh, we've learned a lot about a genius, his vision. He's invested in X because um, he wanted to talk to influential people and that's the way to reach them. Uh, when reaching audiences it's more and more complicated. I think his vision about how he invests in Starlink and in Neuralink is about it's not about this um, doing good or going to a space it's about civilizations going far away. And this is going to lead us also to AI changing the way the culture and how people live. We're going to not we're going to have a new society which is not going to work. This is how he sees it in the in the short run. I mean, he says that um, we're going to change immensely in one year, but we're going to have radical change culturally and in the social environment in in about five years time and so if people is not going to work we're going to get to existential problems and people are going to start to think what we're doing for a living and then as um, as the last one um, he says that of course there's a there's a downside to this growth of artificial intelligence this would be like 20 percent he's optimistic in an 80 percent and he says even if we fail when we collapse i want to still see how we collapse, so I want to be there. So close this around of what's been happening in Cannes Lions 2024. We're living in the most interesting times of life and we really have to anticipate and anything is possible. So thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the week. You're going to see the gala tonight and goodbye from Cannes. Thank you very much.